Welcome back to our traffic light project. In this episode we are going to make start with making some of the graphics for our traffic light. The first thing that we're going to do is make a frame for our traffic light and then in the next couple of videos we will make um, a traffic light panel that draws the different lights. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is comment out the code in our runner that we were using for our non-graphical instance of our traffic light. And we'll do that by moving the asterisk slash at the end of our multi-line comment below our traffic light. Next, we will import the swing class. So you go ahead and need to go up the top and type in import java x dot swing dot asterisk semicolon. Now down here in our runner we're going to create an instance of JFrame. This would be like the frame um, around the program. You can see up here at the top that contains the name of the program and the minimize, maximize, and close buttons. So we'll type in JFrame frame, that's just what we've, I've named it, is equal to new JFrame and we're calling this our traffic light. And we'll end with a semicolon. Then we want to do the maximize, minimize, and close buttons. So we'll say frame, set default, close operation. And then we're going to use jframe.exit, which is all in caps, underscore, on, underscore, close. Close parentheses and a semicolon. Now, this is where we are going to pass in our traffic light panel that will draw the traffic light. And we'll have to make this class in a few minutes. So we'll type in frame get content pane dot add and we'll make a new instance of traffic light panel and as I said we haven't made this yet so we'll do that in a minute and we'll end with a semicolon now if you get extra stuff in here parameters then we can just backspace and end in a semicolon. Now if I hover over this you can see I'm getting an error because we don't have a traffic light panel class yet. And then so what I'll do for right now is I will just do two backslashes in front of that to comment it out. And I'm going to do frame.pack and this line is required in all frames and frame dot set visible and we're going to set it to true and again this is required in all frames so let's go ahead and run this without the traffic light panel and we'll see what we get we need to save it after you hit the run button and you'll see up here over in this corner that we basically get the frame of our window and if we expand this, you'll see that there's nothing inside of it, but it does say traffic light up here at the top. And it gives us our maximize, minimize, and exit buttons. Okay, so in the next lesson, we will create our traffic light panel. I will see you next time.